Hey everyone, I'm here with some quick tips and shortcuts for you guys. Okay, if you're not using the 3D manipulator widget, you can hide it by pressing Ctrl spacebar. Now, if you have some um, simple but uh, high poly meshes and there are like vertices which if they wouldn't be there, you wouldn't see no any difference, so you can optimize them by adding a decimate modifier, shaking planner I guess, and applying it. I, there is a really big difference so it just removes the vertices you, which you can't really see and it still leaves it kinda high poly or at least high poly looking. Okay now if you want to make smooth shading without going to that options menu or something just press W and shade smooth done next uh, okay if you have some kind of loops and you want to move them without changing the um, I know the shape so you can move up like grab Z and scale them up or just press grab and grab again like two G's uh, sorry for my English <laughs> okay so that's the way of dragging them now for mirroring objects is like control M and then you select axis so this time Y and yeah now if you want to make something like this you, you can extrude scale down and have this result uh, there's an easier way for just pressing um, I and just scaling it down I guess <laughs> yeah now making this is really easy just like control 2 or let's say 3 and if you see like you want these parts to be um, sharper you can select them let's say these and yeah control tab for changing the ver mesh select mode for edge and just like this one shift e for making I know the crease which sets how how sharp the edges are which you selected and yeah also in W menu you can yeah shade smooth <laughs> okay now let's say we want something like that which is like has depth into it and we want the text to still be editable without applying it uh, you can go to text uh, options and uh, change the extrude value right here so it's 0 0.2 and we have text with depth into it and still edit editable now if anyways you have already applied it and the mesh is really bad and polygon wasting and if you would model it by hand it would be way better you can apply the planner decimate modifier and it will fix it as you can see, it's way better right now. Okay, now, um, if you want, uh, like, let's say I'm rendering something and uh, this transparent ray trace material, like, takes my whole memory and it increases the rendering time really much, so I can just select the part which I only need with Shift B, like, let's say I only need to see that and then render only that part. Now if you have multiple cameras you can go into another camera with control zero. Okay now if you're modeling something which you have to repeat over again let's say like I have to do this scale down this scale down I don't have to memorize everything right Um, I can just press control more than I don't know like period but that button is like two buttons to right from M <laughs> I don't know how to call it just let me know and extrude it like scale down okay so with two faces selected I can work like 
and make it from one time in one time like not repeating the process over again however it doesn't work with two faces selected next to each other like it just like ruins it a little now to go back to bo bounding box center mode you you have to press m less than um, I know it says comma right here but it's the button next to M in the right like first button in the right from M <laughs> yeah sorry I don't know how to call it okay now proportional editing is a really good feature in blender you can enable it by pressing O and grabbing it let's see yeah you can increase or decrease the size with mouse wheel now uh, for changing the mode you have to press shift O and it changes the mode right here for enabling and disabling is right here and yeah, let's see random so uh, random mode uh, like I know pulls the random vertices I know you can ruin it fast <laughs> if you want to <laughs> yeah or make let's say something yeah I don't know now snapping uh, is really good uh, but it's possible to snap two faces which is even better now for enable snapping I guess it's control tab no shift tab yeah shift tab and for changing the mode like let's say to faces it's control shift tab and you can fa uh, change it to face so it snaps the object to I know the mesh which you select or which you like point to I guess and but it doesn't affect the rotation of the object you're moving so let's say I've moved to that um, rotated plane like it doesn't move um, it doesn't affect the rotation of it yeah now if you want to flatten something um, by scaling and um, let's turn off the turn off the proportional editing um, yeah if you want to flatten like by scaling Z it yeah just to flat something is like scale Z zero enter so yeah, to flatten something scale zero uh, scale on Z axis uh, for this one of course if it is rotated like so you can scale it on Y axis by zero and like you get the idea now for moving let's say the cube we want to move the cube right here so um, as I see much people do like grab it uh, let's say by a y axis and then grab by x axis but you can actually press grab shift z and move it on both axes at the same time uh, with if you press control it moves like by I don't know locked <laughs> like on grid let's say on grid yeah so that's the really way quicker moving method for you now for cursor like we have cursor here and let's see we don't want it in center but um let's see we want it here and yeah by placing it like this like let's see yeah but it's still not accurate so uh, you can press shift s and cursor to grid then it comes really accurate now let's see we want to see all scene so it's shift c and it's it up automatically zooms out to your whole scene and snaps your cursor back to center so yeah um i hope you liked my s few tips which i collected through time and I guess it was any useful and you learned something new which you didn't knew before and thanks for watching see you next time